Hey, what's going on, guys? Do you own a Simmagic product? Let's get you set up. Let's uh, get started right away, what do you say? So the great thing is you don't even need to go into the game yet. It gives you the settings menu right at the start. Um, I highly recommend not plugging in a controller so that your wheel is picked up immediately. I do want to mention the assists. Uh, there's not really much to mention here as far as making the wheel feel good. Simulation steering is a must. If you've played Forza, you already know that. Um, you're going to go over to input. And here's where you can select a custom input. It's going to be copyable blank to start. So when you do that, everything's not assigned. You're going to go through, set everything up on your wheel, corroborating uh, each button pressed, each indication here. If you have multiple peripherals, which if you have pedals or anything like that, you should. Uh, this will help you with that. Um, once that's all set up, so I have mine one saved, go over to advanced input. Um, make sure that you do not have any dead zones. Dead zones, uh, they set them stock to start. I don't know why they do that, but they shouldn't. Um, you make for Sim Magic. I, I can't speak on others, but for Sim Magic with Sim Pro 2.0, you have to invert the force feedback in the game. Don't worry, I will go over the Sim Magic setup as well. Um, so again, no dead zones, no dead zones, hundred percent on everything. Clutch, handbrake. Uh, vibration scale I left alone at the 40. It seems to be pretty good. If you are in need of vibration for no reason, like vehicle vibration through your steering wheel, it doesn't help you as far as uh, knowing what corners are coming next. The force feedback scale, I turned up a good amount. 151, pineapple juice, Malibu, caribou. All right, anyway. Uh, Steering self-alignment, I turned that down a little bit. It felt like it wanted to pull back a little too hard. Mechanical trail, pneumatic trail, I left the same. The road feel is a big one. I turned this up to 185. Uh, I turned it up to 200 initially and it felt just a little too strong. So I knocked about down. Again, I am on a Simmagic Mini though. So if you're using, let's say you're using the big boy, the ultimate, the, the Alpha U, you're going to probably want to turn this down. Next up, load sensitivity. Um, I The only way I read this is I went off of the description. It says this scales how much the aligning torque is affected by tire load fluctuations. Lower values produce smoother aligning torque or provide less feel for the tire load. So less feel for lower values. So what I want to do is I raised it all the way up. And honestly, I think the biggest change out of the entire thing has come from being able to feel the weight of the car in the wheel. Um, it's changed everything. Wheel dampening, you want to turn down to a zero. Center spring scale, I think I left stock. I have it at 50. Pretty sure, pretty sure it came as 100, but I turned it down to 50. Again, less of that uh, centering force. Dynamic damper behavior. Uh, this one, I couldn't really feel too much of a difference between the 100 and the 70. I was trying to get a little bit more information. Um, low values produce more constant damper behavior. Like I'm, I'm hoping that that gives me more information. I'm not entirely sure yet. Steering sensitivity stays the same. St steering linearity stays the same. Um, gamepad steering filters. I'm not sure what that is, so I get that off. All right, guys, so just to wrap it up, these are the SimPro settings um, for Forza Motorsport that I have come to, and I'm really enjoying it. It feels great. Um, in the background, you'll see a video of me doing a Rivals event, trying to level up the Sylvia so I can turn it into a drift car. It's a little bit of a grind, but um, if, I had, if I didn't have my wheel, I wouldn't be doing it, but because I do have the wheel, unlike the last Forzas, dude, I'm, I'm really enjoying it. Like, I, I'm very happy that I made the pre-order, and uh, I'm happy to be here at the 
the ground floor, so to speak. I wish I was better at this game, but it'll come there. <laughs> uh, anyway, thank you guys for staying. I uh, appreciate you guys taking the time to watch, and get out there and get gaming. See ya.